Slip and Stick Construction Origami's Dream Construction Set There are three basic modules of the Origami Dream Construction Set. The Stick Module The Slip Module The Sheet Module The Stick Module is used as the basic frame of construction. The slip module is used to link sticks together in any desired position. The sheet module is used to make walls or roofs to fill in spaces between frames created with sticks. These modules can be used to meet the needs of a great variety of creative projects. Combine these three parts to make strong constructions that support models with majestic size and motion. Start with one stick and then add a few more sticks of different lengths to construct towers that mirror the behemoths of architectural history. Unlike most other construction kits, individual modules of slip and stick can be modified to meet the needs of more advanced constructions. Sticks can be bent with some very unique folds to form elbows with a range of angles. 90 degree angle elbows might be used to support constructions that can reach for the sky. 45 degree angle elbows might be used to make wind or water turbines that power machines that lift constructions to a new level. First you must learn to fold the basic modules. Your journey begins with the simple folds that create the stick module. The length of the rectangle will be the same as the length of the folded stick. The width of the rectangle is approximately 6.8 times the width of the folded stick. Using a standard 11 inch by 8.5 inch sheet of paper, you can make a stick that is 11 inches long and about 1 and 1 fourth inches wide. One method to fold this stick is to mark off five parallel lines forming six segments on a rectangular sheet of paper. The inner four segments form the sides of the stick. The outer two segments create a double layer diagonal flap that runs the length of the stick. This double flap diagonal inner structure provides additional strength to the stick and a unique method for securely attaching sheets of paper to the stick. For this example, the width of the diagonal flap is 1 and 3 fourths inches. Fold the paper in half along the longest side. Fold a diagonal so that the top edge of the paper meets the folded side. Fold the bottom edge of the triangle flap back to meet the folded diagonal edge. Unfold the paper completely. The crease where the last fold meets the paper will be used as a guide to make the next fold. Make a crease that is parallel to a line formed by the center crease. Align the top and bottom edges carefully. Unfold the paper completely. Fold the just creased line to meet the center line and this will form the next two segments. Unfold the paper completely. Use the last three folded creases as guides to fold creases on the other half of the paper. This will complete all six required segments. Valley fold all parallel lines to form the stick.